Hi everyone. I have a couple of small packages. You hear that? <laughs> it's a jingle bell. Um, a couple small things from Etsy. So I thought I would open them up and um, try them on a girl that I have just off screen. She is naked. Um, she's <laughs> been waiting to get dressed for like kind of like a fall outfit, but the outfit that I got for her um, or that she's going to try on here is Christmassy, so she might just skip fall altogether and go for Christmas. Um, this first item in a cute little kind of pinkish bubble mailer is from Snow Lace BJD. They are on Etsy. Um, I want to say I have purchased from them before. I'm pretty sure. And it is, um, I think I've purchased jewelry from them before and maybe like um, some gloves or something for Christmas time. Um, but this time I did purchase a necklace and they always send a couple of little freebie like beaded bracelets. So here's the necklace. If you can see it. Um, it is just like a really stunning like diamondy um, kind of choker. And it actually has a magnetic closer which is really cool. And it has a cute little thank you sticker. Thank you for your order. And then here are the free little freebie bracelets. Um, I am curious to compare this to a recent similar style um, choker that I got from um, Belgerie. It's very similar like sparkly studs, but instead of like the white, it was like a chocolatey brown, which is really pretty. Um, and they had a hook closure, um, and theirs from Dal Jure um, was specifically sized to fit like Smart Doll and um, um, Dolphy Dream. And it's actually a little bit loose on my Smart Doll. It it looks great, but it if it's gonna be like a choker, I would think it would fit like more in the middle of the neck, and it's just a little bit too loose. It kind of just rests at the like at her collarbone. Um, maybe I'll get it out and compare because it it's on another doll at the moment, I think. Um, but this is the little choker. And this one is, I think, not necessarily tailored for Smart Doll or Dolphy Dream, but like just like one third size doll. Um, but it looks decently sized. And that little magnetic closure is super easy. Oops, if you guys can see it just snaps together like that. It's really nice. I like magnetic closures that just come together on their own. Um, so I'll try that on her in just a second. Um, and I'll just show you guys these little bracelets here. They're just cute. Uh, three little beaded like kind of sky blue bracelets. They're actually really cute. Maybe um, Daphne up there might want to wear them because you know she's blue. So that might be fun. Um, so we'll try these on the doll in just a minute. This other item with the jingle bell <laughs> is from Jody's Jody Creations, also on Etsy. Sorry, that's my kiddo in the background. If you can hear him, hold on, <laughs> I got to check on him. All right, carrying on. My kiddo was fine. <laughs> um, this is Jody Creations. Um, it's a Christmas outfit. I actually ordered um, two Christmas outfits from Jody Creations last year, and I took some super cute pictures with them. So I'm hoping to um, add to the crew this year, and I'll have three um, smart dolls who can wear some really cute um, outfits from Jody Creations for Christmas. So, um, here's the pattern. It's like a snowflake kind of print on white. Comes in a nice Ziploc baggie, and there's a um, little business card in here that says thank you, a little handwritten note on the back, and then um, her card on the front, Jody Creations, Fabulous Creations for Fashion Dolls, and it has her email, Etsy shop, web and Facebook. I have generally purchased from um, her Etsy shop. I don't know if she wants all that information out there, so I'm just going to show her business card there. I mean, I'm sure she probably does want her website, but it also has her phone number and address, which is probably business stuff, but just in case. 
Um, so the really great thing about her uh, Christmassy outfits is they're like a whole outfit. They come with a necklace, another little choker. So I'll have to try one choker on her and then try it with this outfit because I want to try this outfit on her. But this is a little snowflake um, pendant to match the uh, snowflake print of this outfit. And um, it comes with, oops, a loose little strand here. Let me just trim it off with my handy dandy scissors. Oh, I hope I do this okay. Maybe I should just, I don't know, it looks like, I don't know sewing and I just see an edge there, so I'm just gonna leave it. Um, okay, so cute little pair of um, snowflake print. Sorry, the light's kind of washing out the um, print there, but pair of underwear, a cute little lacy tank top, some matching stockings, two little stockings hung by the chimney of care. I don't know. And then the piece de resistance. Look at this little elf hat. <laughs> and here's the jingle bell that you've been hearing. Um, I have a very two very similar style outfits um, from last year, like I said. They're um, striped, so one's like red, green, and white, and then the one's kind of like these like icy colors with like like blue, white, and like light blue. Um, so I, it's pretty much the same as that kind of style, but this is just a different print, and I just adore it. It looks so good on my girls last year. I was super excited when she made the announcement of the release of um, these outfits again for Christmas this year. So to help us try it on. Here's a Nike girl. <laughs> this is a Smart Doll Infinity in cinnamon. She has those gorgeous, big, beautiful purple anime eyes. Um, I really have not um, had a chance to have her out, so um, she's out for like fall, Christmas, and you know, all the way up until spring probably. And I have decided to name her Hannah. It's just the name that I like, and that's what her name is going to be. So here's Hannah and all her nakiness. She is a floating head, so she's borrowing this body from, well, somebody. It's probably Fuji's body, my original first, very first smart dog, Kazuna, um, who has lent her body to many a floating head. So anyway, we're going to try these things on her. So don't mind her nakiness. <laughs> um, we'll just slip these undergarments right on. So there is a tiny little loose thread. I am not a sewing person, and I just worry that if I clip it, I'm gonna clip it at the wrong juncture, and then maybe it'll go all loose. But it doesn't look like that, so I'm just I'm just gonna leave it. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I'll look at it a little bit later in closer detail to decide if I can trim it or not. But for now, I can just tuck the kind of loose string kind of underneath the edge of the undergarments and it's on the back side anyway oh my gosh and now my finger just <laughs> snag more threads I need to trim my nails or file them or something all right so here's the undergarments it fits very nicely gosh I maybe I should change the tone of that light it's really bright um, I have like a ring light off to the side to kind of help light up the area um, Let's try these stockings on. Now I'm worried my fingernail's gonna snag all these things. Um, stocking, you can see, kind of has a toe point and then like a wider edge. So I feel like this the seam um, is meant to be at the back of the leg, which is nice. And it's kind of easier to just point their toe and slide it on up their leg. Usually it is. Let me just set her down. I haven't even like done anything with her hair. This actual wig, I got this head separate. Um, just her head and her eyes. Um, I think she came with a head cap, I don't know, can't tell. But um, the wig I had had from something else. I think it's actually, that might actually be my um, Daphne's original wig. But I didn't want red hair for her. Does she come with red hair? I think so. Alright, so here I guess I can show you guys this so you can see a little bit more what I'm doing. So 
So I'm just sliding on the other stacking. It's very easy to just slide right on up the leg. And um, it is easy enough to keep the uh, like seam at the back, which makes it look nice and clean on the front. Of course, I kind of twisted it around now as I'm saying that. All right, and it comes up to about like thigh high. So you get like, you know, an inch of skin and the leggings look really nice. Actually, when I put these on, it almost put the, um, well, on one of them, on one leg, it's actually, the seam is kind of just to the inside back. And then at the other one, I twisted it so that it would be more central. You can see there's the seam there. But on this one, the seam is like just there. It doesn't really matter because you can't really see it from the front anyway. But I could twist it so it's more, they're more like in line with each other. A little bit harder on the foot to twist it though but you get the idea and then you have like that nice seam look matching going up the back if you take pictures from behind and then let's see I think I'm going to pop her precious little head off here to get this tank top on probably don't necessarily need to but just because I have her hair like really not styled or it's just like in its original state I'm trying to keep the fuzz amounts reduced or frizziness reduced yeah I do think this is my um, Kizuna body I've had her forever she's my oldest smart doll and um, I see some markings like here or there on her body um, and probably need to give her a little bit of a spa day clean her up but it's fine for now they're they're really small marks and I'm not too worried about it all right and this material is like that stretchy soft cotton material so it's super easy to just slip right over it god my nail is snagging things I gotta be careful there I have like one broken nail or something and it's like trying to snag all the lacy edges here all right, so as I was saying, it's nice stretchy material and it stretches right over. I have this, I have a push-up bust on her, so it's fitting just fine over that. And it just rests right over the top of the shoulders. And you get like this cute little like peekaboo bit of lace there, but it's like small enough that you can't really necessarily see it. And then it looks really good on the back, nice and fitted. Get another seam right down the middle and the straps fit they just sit right nice on the shoulders there looks really good I think all right so now let me actually try on this necklace really quick just while I have her head off just to make this as easy as possible let me get her feet flat again and kind of stand her up here Oh, isn't this outfit adorable? I know my light is funky and it's washing out the pattern, but the little snowflake pattern is all over the fabric, and then all the edges have like cute little lace edges. So this again is from where was this from? The necklace is Snow Lace BJD, and then this is the outfit is Jody Creations. So this necklace closed with magnetic closure doesn't quite slip over the neck. Well, almost it slightly came apart but it stayed together so I didn't really have to do it but I think that is gorgeous that could be like a New Year's Eve kind of necklace it's really pretty so over here let me just grab her I have um, this girl this is a T um, future smart doll it's a floating head I had the body from, I think that's my summer body. I don't really have too many tea girls, really. I don't know. But um, summer doesn't like winter, so she goes into uh, warm storage, I guess. Anyway, if you can see on her, there is a very similar style necklace. They're both very sparkly chokers, but you can see this one is definitely like a chocolate brown that this girl's wearing. And I 
decided just the other day, I think I might like Poppy for her name. So Poppy, Hannah, her head is down on the floor. <laughs> but the difference between these two necklaces is um, Dalgeray has, this brown one has a chain uh, clasp closure, so there's a nice chain that kind of dangles down. It kind of gives it another, um, like, you know, just different look from the back. It's kind of pretty, you know, to have just like something dangling down the back for decoration. Um, but as you can see, or I don't know if you can really tell, but it's loose. Like it doesn't really sit flush on the smart doll neck. If it was just like one link tighter, I have it clasped on the tightest link and I think I do. Yeah, I do. I have it clasped on the tightest link and it's just a little bit loose. One link tighter. Um, well, it can't be really one link tighter. It needs to be shorter on the overall necklace. It's just slightly too loose, in my opinion. Or if they had made like the um, magnetic closure, maybe, and you could close it right at the at the edges of the bracelet or the necklace, like this one, it might fit a little bit tighter. Because you can see that one is like really nice and flush, and it's actually resting kind of in the middle of the neckline, whereas this one from Dalgeray is resting lower like right where the um, neck starts to expand into the um, shoulders. It's not bad by any means. It's a very beautiful color. It's super sparkly and I do like the um, dangling chain at the back. I think that gives it something a little special. Um, but I like that this one is sitting more flush. You can see kind of it's just a little bit loose on Dalgeray's. But either way, they're both really gorgeous. And it looks good, even though this one's sitting, this one is sitting a little bit lower. So thank you, Hannah. Hannah. Everybody say hi to Hannah. That's the first time I've really referred to her as that um, for modeling this. This getup too is, this one is Dalgeray and so is the necklace. So she's gonna go back over here. Hopefully she won't fall over now that I've like moved her legs around. All right, so let's put did I say Hannah for her? It's Poppy. Poppy. This one's Hannah right here. Um, it's hard to remember new names. It's hard to remember names in general. I have so many, so many smart dolls now. <laughs> Bodies, heads, floating heads, whatever. Oh, so, dang, that looks good. That necklace is gorgeous. Um, but I want to try on the matching necklace from... Um, Jody's Creations. So simply pop off that magneticness and it snaps right onto itself, which is really fantastic. Oh, would you guys look at that? It could be a ring too. <laughs> no, it's too loose. Well, I mean, I suppose it could fit on somebody if they want it to. Um, so this from Jody's Creation, the necklace is, um, let's see how it is. Oh, it's a snap closure. I want to say she did have necklaces last year, too, and they were just like a loop of um, like the stretchy ribbon. So it was like you had to slide it on over the neckline and pop the head off. But since there's a snap closure now, I don't actually have to take her head off. So let's see if I can do this. All right. Mm -hmm. So, did I put it on right? There you go. Cute little snowflake um, necklace that sits right at, nice at the bust line where it's coming down just right to the top of this um, tank top. I don't know how it might look or hang on, you know, different size bust, but this is the um, push-up bust. I think it looks really nice. Um, and you can't really see that snap closure. It's kind of like hidden. Looks really good. So now let's put on this super stinking adorable cute hat. I know I might ruin the nice smoothness of her hair, but 
You know what? That's the risk we take putting our girls into adorable hats because don't smart dolls look good in hats? They really do. Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> Let's see if I can make it styled right. So I kind of put it where the seam is going down the middle. I probably should have put it to where the seam is. Well, it's not on the front. There's a seam at the back on the fur, and then there's a seam kind of going down both sides of the um, fabric hat. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Let's see. This is not just adorable. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is so adorable. I cannot wait to get um, a couple of girls into the other Jody Creation um, outfits. I don't remember. Uh, she might have called these like lingerie pajamas or pajama set or something like that. Um, and I feel like um, Jody's stuff usually sells out um, pretty quickly. I don't know how many sets she makes of each item, but when items are popular and she has enough fabric, I think you can always, um, you know, kind of ask, you know, are you going to be making any more or whatever, and then she'll she'll release more if she can. That was the case for me with um, one of the ones from last year. I had seen somebody else had their dolls in a row. I just thought they were so cute. I asked where they got them, found Jody's Creations on Etsy, and um, one of them was available, but one of them was not. So I asked if they were going to be, if she was going to be remaking them, and she did. So I was able to get both in time for Christmas last year, and now I have a third one. It's so cute. I love Jingle Bells. I'm kind of like a secret Christmas nerd. Um, I really, I love Christmas. It's such a happy time of year. It can be a little, um, you know, emotional because you're with family or you're missing family and that sort of thing, but... Um, since Smart Dolls have been in my life and my very first Smart Doll came to me on Christmas, um, it certainly is a joyful time for me, especially celebrating being part of the Smart Doll community and um, just being able to um, support amazing artists who make adorable things for our Smarties. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Um, Jody Creation, thank you so much for this fantastic outfit and... Um, Snow Lace BJD. This necklace is gorgeous and it fits perfectly on Smart Dolls. So, yay you and thank you as always for the cute little bracelets. I still have um, one of the other bracelets or the other bracelet that came with my first order from you guys. Um, it's on my Mirai. She always wears it. So, anyway, um, this was just a quick little review for a couple of stores from Etsy. In comparison to um, a couple things from Dolls Ray. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will try to take some uh, decent photos for at least the opening screen image of this video um, so you guys can get a little bit better lighting on this image or this outfit to see it. So um, have a great night everybody and talk to you soon. Leave any comments, likes, whatever you want to do. Berry Wings and all the groups. Have a good night.